Hi there, this is Fred of our 5ED here in Windsor, England. Uh, that's Windsor Castle behind me, at least it's the west wall part of it. I'm outside of our hotel. Just wanted to mention, had a great time yesterday, got to tour a brewery called Windsor and Eaton. Uh, a friend of mine, John, met yesterday in our group. Uh, we took a very circuitous route uh, to find it, but we did, and Kieran, uh, the the son of the founder and co-owner, I guess, of the brewery, uh, only had 10 minutes to spare, but he took an hour and a half, if not more, to take us on a wonderful tour of the brewery. They're doing things right. It's, it's set up very well, very, very uh, inspiring to see how they're, they're uh, producing great uh, English cask ales that uh, taste wonderful. They're, you know, just above, uh, I should say, just below room temperature. They are, uh, you know, low carbonation. They're, they're, they're fermented there in the cask, or I should say natural carbonation. But anyway, um, just a small variety, but a large uh, style range from a light golden ale up through a West Coast style IPA. Their black IPA, I believe it's called uh, Conqueror, is incredible it uh it's got the dark roasted malt flavors but it's got the nice hoppy sorry about the noise nice hoppy uh aroma and bitterness so it just it was a delight to say the least so anyway uh the rest of this video is going to be a compilation of some snippets uh that i took while i was there as long or as, as well as a few photos but i highly recommend Windsor and Eaton Brewery, um, it's just, it's a phenomenal experience. I loved every moment of it, and I look forward to having some more of their ales while we're uh, here in England, all over England. So uh, that's it for now. This is Fred of our 5ED, over and out. Night of the Garter Golden Ale. Um, and is, um, like I say, designed to be a summer beer, really. Really easy drinking. American hops in it, uh, stuff like Amarillo, um, yep, yep. and Summit. So hopefully you get quite a citrusy bite to it. We always think it's um, definitely getting a uh, almost a grapefruit lemon. That's exactly the word I was about to use, and I was taking the words right out of my mouth. So yeah, it's meant to be. We always say as if you're cutting into grapefruit, like quite um, citrusy burst through that. Okay. This, it's dry. Yeah, very and, dry. And, and, and what this... you will find with our beers is they tend to be um, on the slightly bitter side. Um, I'm sitting here. This says golden ale, and I'm getting hot bitterness. Yeah, so they're they're quite bitter nice. and quite hoppy. And I say quite hoppy. Um, we tend to ourselves being on the hoppy side of things. I'm a real hop head, so I see too. it as being <laughs> not that hoppy, but. But certainly in terms of a lot of English Unexpectedly beers. for an English beer and especially a golden ale. Right, so I'm impressed. let's go up and have a look. Windsor not pale ale. Not much hoppier than the, uh, the golden ale and getting more of the bready malty taste. Mm. This is tasting more like uh, an English pale ale. Pale ale. So tasty and refreshing on cask. Just cool, not cold, and not overly carbonated. Just the way I like it. Okay, and here we have Conqueror Black IPA. Again, on cask. All of these are on cask in a slightly cool room. And this is a good, you get the aroma of the malts, the dark roasted malts. The hops aren't super in your face, but they're still, still present. Really good blend. You taste the, the chocolate, coffee, dark roasted malts, but you're also getting the bitterness of the hops. And I don't know what hops they said they used in this, but I think it was Centennial and Chinook. Mm. 
that is very pleasant, very smooth. Ah, 